Orthodox spirituality, self and works. What's the value of our works? We're talking about good works or good deeds like prayer, fasting, vigil, obedience. Can we get to heaven through these works alone? We're going to look at the writings of Saint Theophan the Recluse in order to understand what is self. So a person has a self, which is psyche and a soul. The self and soul are attached. The self wants earthly things. The soul desires heavenly things. The self pulls downwards and the soul pulls upwards. So this brings us to the following situation. The soul and self are attached and are commonly known as soul or spirit. However, part of this soul, the lower part, is the self, which desires earthly things, and the soul itself desires heavenly things. The self is full of passions, selfishness, laziness, greediness, lies, gluttony, theft, whatever it is, all sorts of passions, all stemming from the selfishness and pride of the person. This is what is referred to as the old man in the writings of the saints. Now perhaps those verses from the Bible will help us understand the self he who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Let's substitute self for life. He who loves his self will lose it, and he who hates his self in this world will keep it for eternal life. So we are required to hate this part of ourselves, the part that is full of passions. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. So again, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own self also, he cannot be my disciple. So the soul, the upper part of the spirit, seeks virtues. It seeks faith in God. Thanks to God. It seeks contentment, humility. It seeks sacrifice for the good of others. This is the new person. So the old person must die. And the new person must come out to life. This means we must get rid of our passions and our old behaviors, all stemming from selfishness. And we must work towards faith, humility, sacrifice for the good of others. In this image, the self is stronger than the soul. So we have a lot of passions that are controlling this person. The passions take us down. In this image, the soul is stronger than the self. So this person has more virtues than passions and is fighting the passions. Virtues lift us up. What is the value of our work? What are the good deeds? There are many good deeds. For example, donating, visiting the sick, helping others. Many good deeds. Prayer, fasting, those are also good deeds. But what's the value of them? Let's look at this little story. We have a three-year-old who is helping his mother fold shirts. He folds a shirt and gives it to mom. She takes it, 
hugs the kid and kisses him. So what's the value of the kid's work? Did he actually fold this shirt properly? Why did the mother reward the kid? Well, simply because the kid is showing love. And that's the story of our work toward God. Our works are not really important. What we need is faith. And God, with his love, is going to reward us. Now, Saint Seraphim of Sarov provides us with the following explanation about the value of our works. Only works done for the Christ bear the fruits of the Spirit. So our good deeds, if we are doing them for the sake of Jesus Christ, then we get the fruits of the Spirit. He who does not believe has no right to object that his works do not give fruit. So there are a lot of people that are doing good works like helping others and donating and building schools, things like that. But if they do not believe, then their work does not produce the fruits of the Spirit. A good deed is a good deed. So if someone is donating, then that's a good deed. However, that person, if they believe in Jesus Christ, they will receive the fruits of the Spirit. If they do not, then they will not receive the fruits of the Spirit. Examples of some common good deeds. I chant at the church and show everyone my great voice. I volunteer at an orphanage and post pics on social media. I donate an icon to church and post my name right under it. So we have three examples of good deeds. However, what's the purpose of these good deeds? Have they been performed for the sake of Jesus Christ? Let's look at them. So the first one says, I chant at the church and show everyone my great voice. So that's the purpose of chanting at the church. It's not a service at the church. This person is chanting so that everybody recognizes their great voice. The second one, I volunteer at an orphanage and post pics on social media. So this person is interested in showing himself or herself on social media. The third one donates an icon to church and then that person writes their name under the icon so that everybody recognizes their name and praise them. So these works have not been done for the sake of Jesus Christ. What's the rule for evaluating the works or the good deeds? We look at Matthew 6, verses 3 to 6. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deed may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. So we are not supposed to show anybody or let anybody know about our good deeds. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward, or they have received their reward, because they are praying so that people will see them. They are not praying for the sake of God, they are not praying secretly. They just want people to see them praying and praise them. And they have received their reward. This means they are not going to receive a reward from the Lord. But you, when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your Father, 
who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. So again, Jesus is asking us to do the good deeds in secret. So what should I do? Be careful that you are not doing good deeds to serve your own passions, like selfishness. Don't be singing at the church so that people recognize you. Don't do it for pride. Do not practice virtues to make others love you. That's not the purpose of virtues. Virtues are supposed to help you uproot the passions, not grow them stronger. Practice virtues secretly for the love of Christ. I hope you found this video useful. God bless you.